Welcome back to KLRU's studio. I'm Alexis Gathan. And I'm Josue Gonzalez. We're students from Cedar Ridge High School. All day we'll be celebrating American Graduate Day champions. Champions can be anyone, a parent, a guardian, a teacher, a coach, or a mentor. The My Brother's Keeper initiative started by President Obama is aimed at providing more champions for young men and boys of color. Latino and African American young men are more likely to drop out of school, less likely to attend college, and more likely to become involved in the criminal justice system. In this story, we look at some of the individual schools and organizations working to change that. We saw that our young men of color were not being as successful as they could be. So the decision from the community, the parents was, we have to do something different because we know the definition of insanity is keep doing the same thing. This is the first year we've opened up being a single gender all boys school. Being single gender, it's awesome. We really are able to focus on a population of kids, our, our young men, our young boys, and, and hone in on what they need. In the beginning of the year, it was kind of tough for me, but then I improved, and my grades I started getting higher, and then I became like a good student. My two favorite teachers, they're like family to me. They're like very nice to me, and they always help me out. I do believe in the old proverb that it does take a village to raise a child, and I'm so glad that we do have all these different partnerships, the Austin Urban League, the Harvest Foundation, the Calvary Church. They've been right there fighting for us. Usually after school, I go to a boys and girls club. They'll walk around and they'll help you with homework. Instead of going home, I can just stay there and do my homework. A lot of times when we look at the school to prison pipeline, the school removals and the suspensions are sort of the first step. One thing a lot of students that become involved in the justice system have in common is a lot of them have already struggled in school. Their school suspension doesn't help because it doesn't let the kids learn. Youth Court is a peer-based mediation uh, program, which is a partnership between UT Law School and Webb Middle School. Students are trained to help their peers to make good choices. I think that having the peer support and in some ways the positive peer pressure is essential to this type of a program. It helps me out like to tell them what happened to me and then I'll tell them how to fix it. Like how Miss Meg does us and tells us how to fix it. When I first moved to Austin, the first school that I went to had a lot of gangs and I almost fell into that that ditch, I almost decided to just say, you know what, I don't feel like doing it anymore. The XY Zone program is a male teen leadership peer support program that we developed within the communities and schools umbrella. We're not talking about young men who are already leaders. We're talking about establishing a culture of leaders. They learn respect, responsibility, relationships, reaching out into the community, and also to mentor. We have young men now that are now mentoring at the middle and elementary school level. Community in Schools XY Zone, it has really made an impact. It's really pushing me to do more for my community. Ever since I, I started, it just I love it and I want to do more. My most important mission for me for these young men is for them to have direction, for them to have vision. I want them to be able to see further than today. I want them to be able to see tomorrow. I want them to have a plan for their life. My mom and dad didn't go to college, and so I wanted to be the first person in my family to go to college. When I see people that are older than me and they're doing really good in life, it makes me feel like, why I want to be them someday. So it makes me like want to work harder and they become my role model. What I hope for my future, I really want to graduate from college with a bachelor's in criminal justice so I could become a police officer. You know, helping the community, keeping it safe. I don't want to have a sad life when I grow up. I want to have a happy life with like people who I want around me. And I want to have a nice job, like, a nice happy family. There are so many champions in our community. We wish we could recognize all of them. We need your help to make sure that they get the recognition they deserve, so be sure to nominate someone you know. This story was produced by Nolan Furry. His champion is his dad, Andre. My name is Nolan Furry, and I'm a junior at Cedar Ridge High School, and my champion is Andre Furry, my dad. Moving to Texas had a big impact on my life. I didn't know anyone, and the educational system was very different. I was basically starting over in life. I ended up not caring anymore, not going to school, started hanging with the wrong people, and that had a really big impact on my life. 
I actually started trying and understanding the schoolwork when my dad started talking to me and telling me how much life would be so much easier with education in it. He also introduced me to basketball so I wouldn't hang out with the wrong people. Basically, I was constantly in the gym, meeting new people, and getting better at the sport I love to this day. Without him in my life, I wouldn't have gotten back on track and wouldn't became the student athlete I am. My American graduate champion is Andre Ferry, and you can recognize somebody make a difference in your community at klru.org slash American graduate. That's all the time we have for right now, but we'll be back before you know it. In 30 minutes, we'll tell you about a champion who is working with Latino young people to teach them about their culture through music. But until then, we'll send you back to the WNET studios in New York City.